What's going on, Copper fam? And welcome to FIFA and Chill. I am very, very relaxed if you uh, do say so myself. My name is Poet, and to my left is the wonderful. Vooch. And who's to your left, Vooch? That is Mr. Kasper Schmeichel, Premier League winner from last season. Mate, how are you doing? Living very good, thank you. Look at those hands. Very good. You're a legend, you know. How can you be a Premier League winner and your dad? I swear that's the first thought, like the first thing that's like no one's Father and son. No, Premier I League think uh, Sean Wright, Phillips, and Ian Wright have got that one before us. Uh, yeah, yeah, forget, but them. forget them, forget yeah, them. Yeah, like, okay, yeah, let's forget you know, about them, yeah. And I support Arsenal, I'm saying forget them. Like, you lot are... Pfft. Let's talk about FIFA and Chill. Mm. Now, are you aware of FIFA and Chill? I'm aware of it, yeah. Definitely. All right, so what happens is we get some people, we sit down, have a good time, usually an audience, like to our left, who is trying to act like they're not here, and we play some FIFA. That's right. But there's one little problem. Yeah. You're a keeper, you're a goalkeeper, right? And we don't want to injure your fingers. <laughs> it's not right. You know, if your thumb nah. slips and it... Uh, I'd rather, like, we play against the computer. Yeah, I'm on that. The FIFA part in there. Exactly. And we got the questions from the Copper Family audience. They have, they've been going mad wanting to know about you and what you've got to say. So I'm going to ask you some questions. I'll play the first stuff against the computer. Yeah. You do your thing. Second half. I'm going to lose. Let's keep it simple. Let's do this. This is from none other than John Lennon himself. He asked and he asks, what was it like when you finally got your hands on a Premier League trophy? Yeah, I mean, it was incredible. Honestly, it was, uh, it was, Completely surreal. Every time I see the trophy still, you know, I can't help but pick it up and just look at it. It's, it's a, such a beautiful trophy. It's a trophy I've seen when I was young and now to have won it myself and, and to lift it yourself is just, it just doesn't seem real. Uh, my earliest, m earliest memory of you is um, playing for Man City. Arsenal won one nil, Cesc Fabregas goal, fantastic. I remember Same you ran forward Saved for a corner, you saved it. Yeah, I do remember that part, but you also conceded. Um, and um, <laughs> I remember like you running forward in the last minute to score a goal. And I was like, this guy is just like his dad. Did you model your whole game, goalkeeping wise, off your dad? No, I, I didn't. I, everybody always thinks this, but obviously when, you, when you're young, you know, you, you, you mirror your parents a lot. You, you know, you, you say the same type of things, the same way you, you yeah. start. Yeah. So obviously watching my dad, you know, my movement sort of yeah, developed similar. But I, I, I didn't go set out to model on, on the way he played yeah. because I, I don't have the same physical attributes that he did. So I couldn't play the same way he did. Yeah. So I, I looked at a lot of other keepers. I looked at you know, the likes of, of Casillas and, and, uh, and you know, Buffons and, and those, type of, those type of keepers. You know, I, I loved um, Santiago Cañizares oh, at, at, at Valencia, you know. Yeah, great hair, great hair. But you know the the white boots, the the peroxide hair, and you know the the character and all that. You know I spent a lot of time on and in the early days. It was YouTube. Uh, now you can, there's like scouting websites where you can get a lot of good footage and stuff like that. But I spent a lot. Of, yeah, I spent a lot of time in in this very room that we're sat in. Actually, over here, behind us, there's a there's like a little viewing counter. Oh. But yeah, I spent a lot of time like studying these keepers and then going out on the pitch and trying to. Uh, recreate or emulate or, or try new things out to see if it worked for me. Scott wants to know, who is the funniest player in the Leicester team? Depends. I mean, we, we've got we've got a couple of absolute geniuses. <laughs> well, I mean, a, a, inadvertently <laughs> funny. I mean, I'm, like Matthew James is is one of the funniest people you ever meet, but he's not trying to be funny. Aww. But he, uh, him and um, young lad Ben Chilwell, like Ben <laughs> Chilly has has no filter. He okay. says whatever he pops into his brain, no matter like how stupid it sounds, and, and then he takes the, the battering and the consequences after. But <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Just like sometimes. Yeah, I remember like last season. I remember watching like, after match of the day. I think it was you and Ranieri. I can't remember who was in the press conference. I think you was actually saying, it, and I kept saying it throughout the season from the beginning. We talked about Leicester having such a good team spirit, and how important that kind of is to a team. I mean, how good was it last oh, season? What a goal! Sorry to I was, cut I was you. asking a question. I'm bad you, that was I didn't amazing. Even see that. We just like take no, time. I was, was trying try to be polite and look at you a while, yeah. but yeah. Do you know what I mean? All Brighton has never done this in his career, but it's really <laughs> nice to see him do it on FIFA. The team spirit. How good is it, oh, wow. at Leicester? And you know, how is it compared to other teams you've played in? Yeah, I mean, it, it's phenomenal. Um, how like, important is it to win the league? It, 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 it's vital. The only sort of comparison I have was, was, was when I was playing at Notts County in League Two. The team spirit that we had there. Um, it, it was very, very similar that, to, to, to what we have at Leicester now. Uh, basically, we, you know, we're a group of lads, a lot of lads that have, have played together for quite a while. Mm. 
you know, in football terms, playing together for three or four years is a long time these days. Mm. You know, so we have a core group of players who've been together for a while and experienced a lot of things together on and off the pitch. Um, how can you miss that? <laughs> um, <laughs> the vibe is not uh, but, but, you know, that type of thing bonds you together. We also enjoy, you know, going out for meals together, going out and doing things socially together, which, which helps with the bond. And there's a, there's a, like a ruthless banter aspect, but, <laughs> on, but, but there's a massive, massive amount of respect as well. So people don't, don't take it too far. You know, they, they, they know the limits and, uh, and, and everything stays very lighthearted. And, um, it, it, you know, on the pitch, when, when things are going against you and stuff like that, you, you need the camaraderie, you need the team spirit to carry you through when, when, uh, when the chips are down. And, and we've had that in abundance. And it's something that the club, uh, our, our owners, encourage they you know they, they put on like nights for us you know meals and stuff like that to to so the team can go out together and serious um, yeah you know that you know you know nights out for for meals um you know after wins and stuff like that sometimes is is fantastic you, know, you can all sit down together you can have a a meal you know a couple of glasses of red wine and you know you just you can reflect on the game you can talk about other other stuff you know when, when people have had a couple, you, you start seeing, the, you know, a different side of people, mm. and and a lot of the times it, it helps you to, it helps you to understand that person better. So you can sometimes think, why does this guy act like this? But when you actually get to know them, you think, oh well, that, I can understand why he, he is like he is. So uh, when you get to know each other a lot more, then then you can maybe manage each other better. You can you can understand in the dressing room why someone is like they are and you can maybe if, if people have had a hard time with some things you can sort of you know look after them a little bit more or, or if some people need taking down a peg or two you can take them down a peg or two you know so that is sick you guys are just cool with each other yeah. they're all just mates awesome. they're brothers well yeah i mean a lot of us uh, have, have played lower league football you know and lower league football is 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 not the glitz and glamour of the premier league you know you, you you're washing your own boots you're washing your own <laughs> kit every day you're training on on park pitches and things like that and you know you, you come to appreciate that the, the stuff that you have in the Premier League is, is just phenomenal and it, it gives you a grounding in, in life and uh, and yeah it makes you just appreciate the fact that you are where you are and, and when you get to a certain age for me I'm a goalkeeper I can hopefully play for a lot more years but yeah. as, at 29 some of the some of the players are coming to towards the the latter stages of their careers and you realize that this isn't going to last forever this is you know, uh, the best job on the planet. You're never going to have an opportunity to have a better job than this. All right, I mean, look, we're about to kick off in the second half. How did I do the first half of Leicester? I mean, you're watching, we've got a massive projector here. Yeah. It's shining on our faces. It's massive, isn't it? It's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's over here. It's over here, it's everywhere. Nah, yeah, 2-0. Uh, Sharky, Mark Albrighton. Uh, you call him Sharky? Sharky, yeah. Why right. Sharky? I can't, well, you can try and think for yourself why he's called Sharky. <laughs> Wait, who? Old Brighton? Yeah. So he looks like a shark. What do sharks do? They're really horrible. Oh! <laughs> One thing we've got to talk about. I mean, I saw your car when you pulled up. Oh, that i8 BMW. How's it driving? That electric. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a lovely drive. I've uh, been driving, you know, the Teslas, the electric cars. How good are the Teslas? They're the be absolute, absolute best cars. Like the, right. the, how quick they are and how unbelievable that, they that are. thing I, when you put when you do that and it just yeah. takes you back it's that uh, when you put it in insane mode it's insane yeah, mode right? insane mode it, you just like a little switch that says insane mode and you just think wow yeah, yeah. so i mean how does it the yeah he did that was, that was on yeah. twitter everywhere yeah. oh, how was that as a present for how did everybody take that like oh damn and like an electric i8 not a lot of people have these it's i mean this goes to show that the measure of the, the the guy, you know, the the family that you know, it's a it's it's a it's a whole family, and you know their their generosity, like, as you can see, is yeah. is beyond oh, words, really? you know. Yeah, I mean, our, our owners are class, you know. They they, you know, they they're, they're the type. They come down in the dressing room before, you know, and wish us good luck, and you know, they're they're never the type that that get involved with with any other football side or anything like. All they do is is support us, you know, in 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 all the good times, but but particularly in in the bad spells we've had, you know, when we were bottom of the league for, for a long time and, you know, there was no, there was no sort of bad feelings or there was no pressure or anything like that. They were just so positive and, mm. you know, really wanted, wanted us just to do well and just to go out and enjoy playing in the Premier League. And, 
You know, it's, it's rare these days, I think, to get owners that, that care so much about the football club and not just the players, but they, I think it shows the initiatives they, they, they make with the fans, with the, the, with the clappers and, you know, the, the travel and the, the free beers sometimes and things yeah. like that. You know, it, they, they appreciate the fans and, and they, you know, they back up their, their appreciation with, with actions. Can you ask your chairman to employ us? It used to be your half time entertainment or like your hotel entertainment. Yeah. Come down. Psychologist, sure. just improve the mood. Yeah. Like a FIFA room after the, oh, the you know, the games and that. I couldn't really think of anything worse after training going and playing football on a computer. Yeah. Wait, can we just have a call of action to the kids to go outside and play football in yeah. real life? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I've, I'll be honest, I've never played FIFA. Uh, so, but I'm, I'm kind of, I, I understand why the kids love it and all that because obviously the the graphics details and all that is amazing and amazing mm. to see but I'm maybe a bit old school I'd, I'd much rather be outside playing it yeah, myself yeah. and uh, you know when I was a kid yeah going out playing on in the park or playing on the street you know I think it's a shame something you don't don't see that too much these days yeah. you know I, I, I miss I miss when I was a kid the, the, the times I, I was on the street just playing football it was you know that was what I loved doing but kids go out and play football in the streets definitely well, put your phone definitely. down put the Pokemons down yes. play football who do you want in the Champions League group stages I'm not really too fussed about who we get I, I want to go you know I want to go through I want to okay. I want to play in the knockout stages and and at some point if if you make if you do make it to them you're going to have to play the big boys anyway yeah. for me you know I think it's important we're not there to we're not there to enjoy it. To enjoy it, no, exactly. We're not there for to enjoy. It. We're not there for the experience. We're there to to try and do do well, you know. And and it's going to be a completely new experience for all of us. Of course, it is. Yeah. So um, yeah, we, we we're looking forward to it, and yeah, it, it's going to be fantastic. Oh, it. Yeah. There it is. Oh, he's there scored a goal. You're new to New Balance, you know. Your first season with them. How are you finding the new gloves? Because I quite like them. I'm going to be wearing them as well soon. Wembley You're going to be wearing them, yeah. Wembley Cup. I'm playing at Wembley. You're playing the Wembley Cup. Yeah. Yeah. I think my dad's playing that, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Your dad's yeah, playing yeah, in it, isn't he? My dad's playing in that, yeah. 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 Mate, he hasn't he hasn't played. He hasn't been on a football pitch for ten years, so you probably could. But Sometimes, yeah. like, I wear these and I go to my girlfriend. I'm like, what am I? <laughs> what am I? She's like, you're a keeper. Yeah. I'm like, that's right. Oh my I am a keeper. God. What? Oh, what? Oh dry. my God. And she's still with you. She is. <laughs> oh my God. That's, that's a good finish again, by the way. So why New Balance, you know, as a, as a brand that you've gone for? Because obviously they're just, they're a bit different, aren't they? Yeah, they're different. You know, it was, it was very interesting. The, you know, the first kind of like meetings I had with, with them, seeing the the products and stuff like that, it was, uh, it was just really, really interesting. Um, you know, it was different. Uh, it, it, I had a chance to, to you know, really get involved with the, with the process of, of, of making and designing and things like Ooh. that. So it was, uh, it was something that's always been something that that's appealed cool. to me. I enjoy that. We're going to smash through these because the game's about to finish and I just want to keep on talking to you, to be honest. Uh, Luca Matioche says, best player in the Premier League? I'd, no, I'd, I'd say Vard then. Vardy. Vardy, yeah. Who's the best goalkeeper in the world? Manuel Neuer. How would you advise young goalkeepers on how to make it as a pro baller? Well, I'd say the, the most important thing is to, to enjoy it. Yeah. I don't don't get too serious too early. You know, I, I didn't start playing seriously till I was fifteen. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, for me, football is about enjoying. If I if I didn't enjoy this, I wouldn't I wouldn't be doing it. Yeah. You know, I love going to training. I love playing games and and that and and that's for me the most important thing. The day I lose that hunger, that's the day I'll I'll finish. Okay, that is FIFA and Chill with Casper Schmeichel. It's been an absolute pleasure, mate. Thank you very much for that. Thank Good you. luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. And Cheers. being with New Balance. Yeah, we're going to be friends, I feel it. There's a bit of energy there of and stuff. When you beat Serbia though in the Euros, that wasn't cool in the qualifying. And yeah. Yugoslavia thing in 92, your, your dad, you know, yeah. we got knocked out and then done yeah. your thing. So that was is. cool. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. All right, we got to go. All right, sorry. Look, we got a train to catch because obviously the last thing I want to do is spend the night in Manchester. But make sure you YouTube comments and <laughs> all the things you loved about today's episode, as well as who do you want to see us do FIFA and Chill with next? Because we got a Premier League champion now. Premier League champ? That's mental. I mean, how do you surpass that? I don't know, who's next? You need someone that's won the Champions League now. What are you thinking, Ronaldo? Ronaldo. We talked to Beckham last year, we could do Ronaldo. It's out in the universe now. You need another goalkeeper, you need, you need, a, you need to do Neuer. Neuer or Buffon. Buffon. Yo, or Casillas. At them on Twitter. Yeah. At them on Twitter. Let's get more people on, that was absolutely brilliant. Thank you, New Balance. One love. <laughs>